Welcome back to 3x7 Outdoor. And what the heck is going on with this thing? I don't know. As you saw from the little bit of that, that looks terrible. This car's needing some help. It's so loose. Look at that. We've got all aluminum parts in there. Look at how loose it is, though. Like, boop, 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 look at this one. So it shouldn't be like that. It doesn't that drive in a straight line. We've got new parts for it, so that it'll be nice well, and we tightened might up. Have new parts. Maybe, maybe. We'll see what we have hanging on the wall. I'm pretty sure there's a bearing, like, out somewhere in there. As I, as we said in the drag slash takes on the world video, oh, yeah. I said I would like to rebuild this car from here out on every wheel. So like from here all the way out because it's mm -hmm. so loose. It barely drives in a straight line. It'd be really nice if like we rebuilt from here out on each mm -hmm. wheel. I feel like it would be a lot more stable. It's just very loose. Like there's no bearings lost. It's just loose. It's I don't just... know. So hopefully what we're going to do to it today is going to make it actually drive in a straight line and be nice and tightened up and tidy. Uh, no. I almost, along? I'm almost like, what's her name on Dancing Like the Stars? Who? What's her name? The judge? Oh, Carrie Ann. Yes, I almost <laughs> fell off my chair. Oh my God. There we go, sorry. Oh, 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 no! oh. These are the no. Proline belted trenchers. Really nice tires, except for when it's cold. So I might have to change them because- Anybody watching that set Proline by the fire or went to Proline by the fire, 2021? Yeah, it looks insane. It just looked amazing. But these belted trenchers are really nice for the summer because they get nice and sticky, but when it's cold, because they're not belted and they don't have because any they ballooning- are belted. Well, because they are belted and they don't have ballooning, um, they just skid. Like. They just skid and they barely move the car. By the way, we were in desperate need of a three millimeter bit and we could not find one. It actually doesn't come in the Traxxas toolkit. Thanks to Drifto Maniacs, we won a little challenge and I got a three millimeter uh, little bit that I have along with a lot of other ones. So came in handy. Yeah. It looks like the Haas arms are the same as Rustler arms and Slash arms. Yes, they are. So we have four new black ones. It's pretty beat up. Okay, he got it off. It's pretty beat up. I'd almost want another one. because I'm like... not sure. We can look around. I don't know if we have any right now. The looseness. Yeah, this yeah. bearing is like pretty. That's loose that way. This is loose this way. This bearing is totally fine the bearing here is totally fine it's slightly bent slightly. parts in the same length there you go can you see that beautiful same part same yeah, the length the hoss and the rustler angle. And the slash share a lot of the same parts. A lot of people like, oh my gosh, that's so sharp. It's like, it's, it's the dullest it's thing. The, a dull knife is a dangerous knife. It barely cuts <laughs> air. I just got the one in, so that one's in. The so new AR? The new orange AR. Okay. I put new bearings in the stub axle carrier. Oop. What about the drive shafts? We need new boots on them. Um, this one seems to be actually really in good shape. Oddly enough, the 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 boots the on boots? the boots, the boot boot Ooh, already built shape. They call these the steel splined constant velocity 
So this is a, the stub axle portion. And here is the stub axle portion of the one with the rubber boot. So if we peel that boot off, that boot holds in this pin. Where with the new design, a steel, looks like a key ring, holds the pin in. So there's no rubber at all to be concerned with. And that's from the steel drive shaft that has the rubber boot to the steel drive shaft that no longer has the rubber boot. So it's a lot beefier. It's gonna last you longer. It's worth the money really to spend on those. see how hard that is it's just you know I hate the Phillips head screws on the Traxxas parts I'd rather have the hex head how come because it's more secure when you with the yeah. tool it is all right I, what I just pointed out is that it's actually a rod with a thread. We just haven't had it on there for so long, long that we just like forgot. But it's a rod with a thread. Let's is see. It this one? Yes. That's what it is. They do sometimes. That's why we switched to, to our own little deal. This is the 2 point because that's going to screw in. Look at that screws in just nicely it's in there pretty tight and that feels nice so we've got the gtr adjustable springs here i'm going to pop those back on into their rightful place i think it's um that one the middle one the screw and put the screw through the top one therefore it'll have more ground clearance get some ginger nourishment what the mouth gonna be on fire okay all right here we go does it look straighter that looks a lot more straight they are still tipping in though Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, like. Except for Grandpa's stamp. Mm -hmm. Look at that, baby. That's straight. But you have to admit, that's way better. Yes, it is way straighter. So, I want to show you how much travel there is in that screw. And you can't screw it in anymore. It's screwed in all the way. Can you see that? Look at all that play in that thing. A while back, on this side. And it's got a little gasket in there. I put a rubber O-ring in there. And yes, it still moves, but there's no movement there. But it doesn't go up and but down. But what I did notice tighter. here, what I did notice here, look at, look mm -hmm. at all that. That's a lot of movement that yeah, it should it have. Is. And the shock screw is like basically almost out. Mm -hmm. That half is out. That half of the hex is out of the pin but that half isn't the pin is busted i don't know it looks like it bent we've had busted pins before but that looks weird yeah you can see that's busted let's see if i can look at my my fingers are so busted and disgusted dirted. but like you but the bearing is still in there yeah it looks fine the 
the other side and so we're gonna just pop this back together just to make sure and um, yeah he put some shims in there hopefully tightening the this one I can yeah. show you because we showed you because we showed you it move up and down anymore that screw I put three shims in right there hmm. this is the 4607 these are motor bearings uh, which don't have the plastic dust cap but they still work they still work that looks overly wrong i'm gonna have to ch i'm gonna have to change one what is with that oh that is anxiety inducing okay so i've looked high and low up and down sideways don't have any rod ends that mm -hmm. that i can find immediately i have them for the revo yes but that's not gonna work but for now, I think we're going to just, um... Let's just put the wheels back on. The back looks pretty dope. We'll have to go With on... The tires, like, look at that. It, you can see the blue and orange. That looks pretty dope. Purchase some rod ends. So you can see that this one is uh, kind of straight. Straight, kinda Straighten that out. Straight. And then that one, and this one is, like, way down. Hmm. It's like, it. that shouldn't be that way, so we're going to... We're going to extend that. It is really straight. That's a straight tour of it. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Th this is like OCD inducing. I hate it so much. Yeah, but it can jump like a crazy machine. It can. With the crazy shock springs you put in it to pop a battery in it just to see what it looks like when it's straight when it's straightened out got that light, light kit spread. light kit looks amazing you ready three two one go you're still squirrely yeah hey I meant to do that whoa it's like whoa Whoa, it's like, whoa. It's like, whoa, that suspension is tight. It's too tight almost. Nice. You don't know how to drive this thing. Here, try it's, it out. It's my car. Oh, there's a car there. I got scared for a Where second. Where the heck did that car come from? I don't know.